will see some examples related to the perimeter of a rectangle. A rectangle whose perimeter is 230 centimeter and breadth is 55 centimeter, find the length of this rectangle. We know that the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. In this way, the perimeter of the rectangle divided by 2 is equal to length plus breadth. Since we have to find the length, we write it as perimeter of the rectangle divided by 2 minus breadth is equal to the length or we can write it as length is equal to perimeter of the rectangle divided by 2 minus breadth. Thus, length is equal to 230 centimeter divided by 2 minus 55 centimeter which is equal to 115 centimeter minus 55 centimeter which is equal to 60 centimeters. The length of the rectangle will be 60 centimeters. Next example. Find the cost of fencing around a rectangular field of length 90 meter and breadth 50 centimeter at the rate of rupees 22 per meter. We are given that the length of the rectangular field is 90 meter and the breadth is 50 centimeter. Some children do not pay attention to the units of measurement. For example, here the measurement of the length is stated in meters, whereas the breadth is stated in centimeters. So, in order to make the units of measurement the same here, we will convert centimeters to meters. We know that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. So, 50 centimeter is equal to 50 divided by 100 meter, which is equal to 0.5 meter. Now, in order to find the total cost of building the fence, we need to find the perimeter of the ground. In the previous video, we learned that the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth. Therefore, we can say that the perimeter of the rectangular field is equal to 2 into 90 meter plus 0.5 meter, which is equal to 2 into 90.5 meter which is equal to 181 meters. Since the cost of 1 meter fence is equal to rupees 22, the cost of building a 181 meter fence is equal to rupees 181 into 22, which is equal to rupees 3982. Next example. In the given figure, two fields of same length and same breadth are shown. Find the total perimeter of the fields. In this question, we have to find the total perimeter of the two rectangular fields. We see that the length of both the fields is 1200 meter and the breadth is 400 meter. Let's name these rectangles. This is the rectangle ABCD and this is the rectangle BEFC. By joining these two rectangles, we obtain a larger rectangle AEFD. We have to find the perimeter of this rectangle. For this, we first have to find the total length of this rectangle. Here, the total length of this rectangle will be AB plus BE which is equal to 1200 meter plus 1200 meter which is equal to 2400 meter. However, there is no change in the breadth, so the breadth of the larger rectangle will remain 400 meter. We know that the perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. Thus, the perimeter of the rectangle AEFD is equal to 2 into 2400 meter plus 400 meter, which is equal to 2 into 2800 meter, which is equal to 5600 meter. Just think, here, both the fields have the same shape. If we find the perimeter of one field and then double it, then will we be able to find the total perimeter of both the fields? Let's try it out. Here, the perimeter of the rectangle ABCD will be 2 into 1200 meter plus 400 meter, which is equal to 2 into 1600 meter, which is equal to 3200 meter. In this way, the perimeter of the rectangle AEFD is equal to 2 into the perimeter of the rectangle ABCD, which is equal to 2 into 3200 meter, which is equal to 6400 meter, but this will not be correct. Can you explain why? Think for a while. You've got it right. The reason is that in this case, we have added all the sides of both the rectangles 
in which we have unknowingly added the side BC twice. Since the side BC is not at the boundary of this bigger rectangle, so while finding the perimeter it will be wrong to add the length of this side. You must avoid such mistakes. Today, we saw some examples related to the perimeter of a rectangle.